I've been pretty lucky my whole life. I grew up in the Dominican Republic and since I was 11, I started going to the mountains. I travel around the world, I visit 22 countries. When I came to the United States, I started doing mountaineering and joined the military. So I've been many, many places. I started climbing mountains in South America, in Africa, Alaska. I did Argentina, then I went back to Peru. Part of all that mountain experience was to climb the highest one, Mount Everest. Base camp, base camp, this is Karim, over. Base camp, the Dominican team is on the top, over. You feel like you're invincible. You conquer the top of the world. But I didn't know that I have a bigger mountain to climb. I really never have any symptoms. But when I came back from Mount Everest, we have a medical exam afterward. My PSA numbers came a little high. Hello, hi, how are you? Hey. Good to see Hi, you again. Doctor, how are you? Hey, go ahead and take a seat. Thank you. How are you doing today? Um, I'm going to be frank with you, Dr. Patel. Uh, I'm scared. Well, well um, I did get your results back, and the, the prostate biopsy showed that uh, there was some cancer on the biopsy. That's hard to, to conceive. As you know, I mean, I was running marathon. I was climbing mountains. I, now, now I have this, so I need to get surgery, and that was that was shocking. Doctor, one of my main concerns is, depending on the treatment or the surgery, if I'll be able to do the same thing that I'm doing now, if my life is going to be the same or it's going to be a drastic change. My wife and my daughter, they they think cancer is basically the end of the war. I think when all is said and done, everything will be okay. You've been diagnosed at an early age, but you've also been diagnosed at an early stage and an early grade. So this Meeting Dr. Ripul Patel was a pretty humbling experience. He explained everything about the surgery. He clarified some of the fears that I have going through prostate cancer surgery. He made me feel very, very, very tranquil and confident uh, that everything's gonna be okay. I would say the whole experience was so smooth. Starting in the, in the Dr. Ripul Patel office, when I met his staff, they answered all my questions. surgery was smooth. I, I don't remember the surgery. I think that's a good thing. But three hours after my surgery, I was walking. Hi. Hi, we have something special for you. Uh-oh, four of you? Yes. <laughs> this is a special thing. You're the 5,000th patient that Dr. Patel operated on. So as a token of his gratitude and our gratitude, we're going to give you this t-shirt. On top of all that, that was a great honor to be the patient 5,000. That means that there were 4,999 men before me that their life was saved. Cancer is not, you know, don't discriminate. Doesn't matter who you are, doesn't matter how high you climb, and doesn't matter how much you love your family or even doesn't matter how much you serve your country. The point is what you do after you get it. Early detection was the main thing here. And yeah, once he got the surgery, the surgery was done, everything was okay, good. And I can say that today, it's, everything is working fine. When I see him today, I know he's cancer free. 
The rest of the year, uh, I have a pretty packed schedule. I have a half Ironman in May. I have a expedition to the mountains in Dominican Republic. I'm taking 50 low-income kids that I take into the mountains for the first time in their life. In August, I'm doing Ironman New York City. I'm doing that as a fundraiser for prostate cancer. And that's what I think is the least that I can do after I've been so lucky and after I've been a survivor. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine. Are you feeling well? I'm feeling great. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Why don't you take a seat? Thank you. One thing I, I want to tell to Dr. Patel is, uh, one, thank you for saving my life, and two, thank you for giving me that confidence that everything is going to be okay. Celebrate your health. Just keep doing what you guys are doing because it's an excellent service. It's top notch, and I could not ask for any better. I'm back to normal, doing what I like, prostate cancer awareness.